One back and four receivers wide, a pro-style offense. Number 48 in motion. Here's the throw. It's a screen pass to the far side of the field. He has some room. A good block, breaks a tackle. Inside the 20, the 10, the 5. Touchdown for Europe. Seconds into the game. That was a well-designed play. A good throw and a good catch out in the flat. And I tell you, the British Columbia defense didn't really have many opportunities to make a play on that ball. It's number 33. Kick is up and it's good. And 11 seconds into the first quarter, European defense not necessarily making big plays. They're just catching some good breaks as Team Canada is just coming up short on some of these pass plays. Now here's another screen. It's the same play, but on the opposite side of the field. Has running room, a first down, brought down outside the 40. So this time the throw is perfect, and Malik takes it all the way across midfield and into European territory. The ball is officially at the 39-yard line. Canada trails at 7-0. O'Brien in shotgun again. Has time looking to throw. Goes up the middle, wide open, it's caught for a touchdown. And that's Davis with his second reception of the quarter. And with 7.55 to go, it is now Europe 7 and British Columbia 6. They didn't score on one play, but they got it done. And that one was still a big one. As the ball was outgunned with five receivers wide for Europe, an aggressive offensive play attack. There's a handoff. It goes to the left side and gets some room. He's across midfield and finally dragged out of bounds at the 40. Down and 15. Now there's a run play on the right side that doesn't go for much. Second down and goal. A run play up the middle. It blows wide open for a touchdown. touchdown. Well, clearly Team Europe was expecting a pass play as they showed no signs of defending the run. And it was just a matter of really just jumping in between the holes. A fake handoff and a pass to the left side. Has some room on the left sideline. Cuts it back inside at the 35 and brought down at the 34. And the star continues to be Marcus Davis, who keeps cutting through that defense. O'Brien looking to throw. Here comes the pressure. He goes to the left side to Irons, fighting his way inside the 10, going towards the end zone, but dropped out of bounds at the 4. Out at 7.59, a chance to go up by two scores. There's the fake. Brian rolling out to right. He goes into the end zone, and a touchdown. He threaded the needle on that one. First punting return man here for British Columbia. He has already taken one back for a good distance, and he's the lone man back again. Comes up with it back at the 25, gets some room up at the middle. He's across the 40, breaks out to the right, gets away from another tackle. Now he reverses field to the near sideline. There's a block in the back, but he gets across midfield to the 45. It was not a complete block, so no flag on the play. As it was just kind of a, a touch on the side, if you will but another brilliant return once again by Marcus. Marcus Davis again, and the one that they want to kick it away from, no doubt, would be Davis, and yes, they do. They kick it to Irons, and they fake the, they fake the give off to, and there he goes, look at this. A flag is out on the field, however. There's a good block, and another. The ball is all the way down to the 10 for Irons. Irons. Now it goes inside to Mahara, and he's going to have the touchdown. The spin move got him there from five yards out. Man in motion. There's the dangerous runner. Now a quick throw down the sideline. Gets the first down and gets out of bounds across midfield. So a well-designed play here for Team Europe. Back. Dobrolevsky looking to pass again. He's in trouble, and he's brought down for a sack back at the 34. The defense closed in in a hurry. 
and he could not find his way out, and Europe will take its last time out. There's a good snap. And it goes right to Marcus Davis. There he goes past the 40. He's going to get to the 50. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. He's gone. Touchdown, British Columbia. And if there was ever any doubt about who the star of this team was offensively, it has now officially been put to rest. Marcus Davis with now his second touchdown of the game that they were going to be playing with a Canadian-style defense. And I asked immediately, there's a play deep down the field at the sideline, hauled in for the reception inside the 30. Big play, big oh, yeah. play. Brandon Lightis, the big boy, the large target. He's tall, great, great hands, but that throw was unbelievable. Do that about 40 yards, I think. This time, a uh, great connection down the field. Now the screen pass to the left side, has a great block. Gets out in the open, he's at the 10, the 5. And once again, it's number 7. Marcus Davis coming that close to getting his third touchdown of the game. Marcus Davis cannot be taken down by one person. I can tell you this, though. The European defense has had a challenging time in the beginning of this first half play. I'd be curious to know how many people know exactly where Nova Scotia is, but currently right now Canada going in for the touchdown. Speaking of Nova Scotia, which is a part of Canada, and as you said, you can go to FBU.com, footballuniversity.com, and check it out. There's a deep throw down the middle of the field, and what a catch! Reeled in by none other than Marcus Davis. It wasn't for a touchdown, but it was a big one. That set up a score. Now going to the end zone. High up in the air. He got it. What a catch. Unbelievable. The coverage was very tight, but the pass was on time. So no Texas teams in that battle, but still a lot of excitement expected in the days ahead. And here's another touchdown for BC. Touchdown, the end of the game, the final score to this one, British Columbia 49 and Europe 14.